Good evening, you guys. It is another dreary night at Monique's Jewels. But I'm going to liven it up here. I hope everyone is doing just fabulous. Um, I had a bunch of running around to do. I had to go to the post office and some other places. So I didn't do a lot of sales on the last video, which is vintage. So I thought I'd shake it up a little bit. Um, I have a lot, and it was actually something I had, I think it was last year, um, and I had a bunch of pieces, but I, now I've got a few left, um, I think it'll probably fill up the video, probably 30, 40 minutes, um, they are Chico's pieces, and they're really nice, so what I thought I'd do these pieces are worth a little bit of money. Some of them are a little older. Some of them are not. Um, there's two that are older that I think I'll put a little less money on. So I'm going to go ahead and show you these. I'm going to price them and try to price them to where you'll want to purchase them. Um, I'm going to start with these littles that I have here. I forgot all about these. Um, they're Chico's and they're kind of rare. There's thumbs up. Don't forget to do the thumbs up on the way in. If you forget, you know you can do it when you're done. You can do it whenever you want. Okay, this is actually a Chico's piece. Move this out of the way. This is a clamper. It is silver tone with a gold tone, little ribbing across the top. It's really pretty. It's magnetic. It says Chico's right there. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to put it on. It is kind of egg-shaped almost. Very comfortable. I'm going to turn it this way. Very pretty. I love the designs. I'll show you the designs really up close. Kind of the V's. Kind of southwestern, if you will. This is about two and a half, and of course you don't have to take it over the top. But see how it's kind of oblong? Um, so this should fit about anybody. I think, let me show you. I have a lot of room. So I'm thinking about a seven and a half. And um, I think I'll put four on this one. It's very pretty. Okay, next. Wow. This is a, I'm making sure all the stones are there. These are like a resiny, acrylic-y. Oh, wow. This is actually an enhancer, and it clicks down in there. That is neat. And a brooch. This is so cool. Look at this. Man, oh, man. So the brooch is nice, and it works. Um, Chico's is right here. Yeah, it's right there. Um, yeah, this is very unusual. It's pretty. You got the yellows and the black, and then the clear mirrored pieces here. It's in great shape. So let's put five on this one. It's a pendant and a pin, and it is an enhancer. I like the way that's made. Isn't that cool? And then that goes right back in that little clicky. And it is right around three inches. Okay. Next, we have this little cutie. This is pretty. This is like leather. And you can tell it's a little older. It's kind of got that clasp. I have no idea how old it is, but it's very pretty. It is kind of a silvery tone leathery material with the um, purple and light light almost white beads here and a red bead in the center yeah, that's pretty cool then you have these little tassel -y, wispy little pieces here kind of cool so I think I'll put four on that isn't that neat and it is a about 
Let me see. Four by three. Or four by four because you got the wispies. Yeah, that is really, really cute. Okay. Oh, and don't forget if you need to purchase anything, you want to talk to me, give me a comment or a question that you don't want to put in the comments below the video, please email me for all purchases. Do not put purchases in the comments of the video, please. That helps me out because I miss so many of them. Um, it's Monique's Jewels 2, and it's all lowercase at gmail.com. So, next we have a toucan. This was very expensive. This was actually $45, and it was marked down to 39 I think that says 39 $39.99. This actually has some little earrings to go with, and they are marked Chico's also. Whoops. Right there. And see, they match the um, interior of this little bird. It's so cute. In excellent condition. It's like a kind of a taupe colored with a gold um, older clasp here. It works. He has his little bluish purple eye. Oh, he's just too sweet. And then he has earrings to go with, so it's a little set. And these go for quite a bit. I'm gonna put um, I'm gonna put 18 on him. You guys can look him up. He's really cute. Chico's toucan. Okay, let's put these back. Not funny you run into something and you forgot that you even had it. Um, I guess that happens to us. I knew I had a Chico's a lot, but as far as personally what it was or what pieces were in there still that I didn't, you know, sell was kind of, yeah, it was cool. Love it. It's like buying new all new jewelry again. Okay, this is beautiful. This is, I think it's an anniversary piece. Yes, 30 Unforgettable Years of Chico's. And that's what it says on the heart. There, and then on the back. It's a little heart piece also. Um, this has some beautiful beading. The wires are gold, uh, like a brushed gold wire. Very pretty. Um, the beads on it are spectacular. You have a crystals. They're glass. I don't think they do an anniversary anniversary piece if they were plastic. I do believe those are glass, faux pearls, gold lame glass with the Rivoli's. Yeah, these are beautiful pieces. Isn't that neat? Oh my goodness. This is approximately at the shortest is 16. Goes all the way up to about 22. Look at this. I'll show it to you by layers. That's one layer. Um, this is the second layer with gold and Rivoli's. Isn't that beautiful? And then these two layers. This one here. Not pretty. And then this one. Yeah, it's just spectacular. I'm going to leave it here real quick. Let me check. I'm going to do a little look up here. Um, let's see, Chico. 30-year anniversary. Anniversary. Let's see. Necklace. Give me just a second. If I can find it. You know, I look up stuff all the time and never do find it. Um, 
sometimes it'll pop right up. Sometimes you have no help whatsoever. That's the 35th anniversary. Hmm. So this has got like all of them. So let me look. Um, this is Mercari, guys. It might not be on here. No, there's not very many. Oh, I found it, guys. $28. Um, it was posted 115 to 21 This is what this is about. Chico's 30th anniversary layered wire necklace. Bronze and silver beads. Rhinestones, lightweight, approximately 16 inches. Shortest layer with a 4-inch extender. Part of Chico's 30th anniversary collection. And this item is sold. Let's see. So there's a picture. Oh gosh. What happened? What happened? Oh. No. Not going to show you. Anyway. Come on. Oh, there we go. Not funny. So there it is. So that is so cool. Okay, so we did find it. Um, so let's put, on the 30th anniversary, let's put $8 on it. How's that sound? Beautiful piece, guys. Just beautiful. And like I said, these need to be hung. The wired, and you can actually lightly hold on to the wire about here, because you don't want to pull it out of the piece it's it's put into and just kind of straighten out the wires with your fingers okay carefully okay there's that one okay i have another one that i know is an older piece this is huge made in china it says chico's look at that tag my gosh um this is uh really pretty but it's awfully big there's this and we have a little tassel here that's on the side i think i've got it twisted Hang on. is that it maybe it goes this way guys sorry anyway there we go isn't that pretty yeah, this is gorgeous. All the different colors, the blues, we've got this. The chain here, it's kind of asymmetrical. The hook is here. The chain goes around the back of your neck. This is approximately 22 inches. Yeah, this is pretty cool. These are like plastic pieces here. We've got the silver circle, some chain work here. And like I said, it's very interesting because they are not the same on each side. Isn't that cool? Okay, so I'll put eight on that one. Alright. This one's gorgeous. This one's long. It's got a herringbone chain. Beautiful silver tone. All these are chicas with a nice lobster. Chico's lobster is beautiful. Look at these. These are like lucite. And they are inside of this beautiful silver bead. Man, that's cool. And then you have the herring bones that come up on each side here. And you have two more of those fabulous looking beads. I've never seen beads quite like that. And I think this one's a little asymmetrical, too. Let me check. Yeah, you've got three, two, and one. And then you've got three, one, and two. Very interesting. Beautiful silver tone. This thing is precious. It is approximately... Let's see, that'd be 24. It's about... 
36 inches total. All you have to do is wipe those off. This is a gorgeous piece. So since it is so interesting, I just think it's a pleasing piece. The herringbone's thick. It's thick. Very, very nice. Um, let's put 15 on this piece. It even sounds lovely. It almost sounds expensive. Okay, next we have a gorgeous piece. And some of my ladies that have been with me for a while, they'll remember some of these pieces. This is Chico's on the tag up here. All of these are Chico's. Like I said, I was kind of disappointed with my vintage sales. So we got to get people interested in knowing what I have and what I'm showing as far as vintage sales go. This is black. Um, it is cool. Look at this. This is very, very interesting. This would be beautiful with just a plain t-shirt and a black top or white top and black pants with some silver earrings in that shape, silver tone or sterling, either one. Yeah, this is cool. I love it. Sounds great. It would fit everybody or anybody. It's big. I'll show you how big it. Oh man, that's so cool. Okay. It actually will come out like that. So you just kind of do your own thing with it. Um, you can tighten it back up. So I put eight on this one. It's beautiful. And it's lightweight because they're like plastic beads. Yeah. And the silver tone is nice. Yeah. It's just beautiful. Very chic and cute at the same time. Okay, this is one of the pieces I loved. I know that this one was kind of a higher dollar piece. Um, there's a front and a back to this, believe it or not. Okay. These are like resin pieces that have all these different um, layers in them. The creamy white, you can still, this is white and silver. So this would work. It's kind of a um, white with an off-white in some of these. This thing is just so cool. Um, and then it comes down, and then this one hangs at the bottom. Um, this would be just gorgeous with anything. Um, I think I looked this up last time, and it was a little more expensive. But I'm just going to do 12 on it. I just think it's gorgeous. This looks like something off the runway, for sure. This one is right at... It's right at 18, and then we've got a huge extender on it. So, it hangs down just like this, and all you have to do is move that one in front of the other one. Yeah, sometimes they get twisted. There we go. So there, there that is. That's fabulous. Isn't that pretty? So I'm going to put 15 on this one because I know it goes a little higher than some of the others. Um, I have a piece here that was actually, it has medallions on it that were copied off of, oh, what was his name? The guy that found the, the ship, the Tosha, I think is what it was called. Um, let me let you guys just look at it. <laughs> this looks like the pirates have found some really good stuff here. Let's see here. Let me undo these. It's a little twisted. Let me get it untwisted. There we go. There's that. And there's, of course, we have the Chico's. A beautiful piece there. I'm going to look it up. I haven't looked it up in a while. Okay, Chico's. Chico's necklace. 
Let's see what comes up. Okay. Oh my. Okay, there are some Atosha coins that are actually for sale. <laughs> that is not what we're looking for. The Atosha was a shipwreck that was found by Mel Fisher. Um, the, here they are. Wait a minute. Um, it, they should be in this grouping here. It has Chico's coin. Very similar. This is triple strand. There's some beauties on here. My goodness. Did you guys know that they had coins like this on them? On top of everything else. And braided leather and yeah, I don't see it, but I will show you one that's very similar. Um, where did it go? Oh. Chico Sexual Coin Necklace. No, that's not it. Yeah, I don't see it. But that's not bad. That's really kind of good. Brass tone, five sagging strand. There's three strands here. Let's see if I can get better. I don't think this is going to make any difference, guys. Hold on here. Oh, it's right. Is that it? No. I'm sorry. I thought I could pull it up so quick. Let me go back one. I'll show you one of them. Okay, this one is marked 29, and it is just faux coins. So they have made quite a bit of things faux. But these are actually, because I looked up the exact necklace. Um, these are, is it this one or this one? It might be this one. There are two that I have. And this one is spectacular also. This one here, of course, is Chico's. And it has these beautiful faux coins. But it has the little bronze um, bezel set stones in it. Okay, this here has the... This is a statement and a half. This is beautiful. And this is the palm tree. It's like almost like an Indian from India coin. I've seen something very similar. Then we've got, let's see, that one there. Then we've got the boat. A boat. I don't know which boat. And then you have very faded coin there. And the back, I'll show you the backs. The backs are freaking cool. The backs are that, look how thick they are. Yeah, these are very, very cool. And that's got Queen Elizabeth, I think. Well, you know, the British Empire used to um, rule... Not rule, but they owned rights to India. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Um, so, yes, this is very well made. These turquoise looking beads are plastic. And I think it's good because it makes the um, actual necklace much, much lighter. This is fabulous. And I think I'm going to put 18 on this one. It is approximately, has quite an extender, and you can put it on any one you want. We'll try to make it as even as possible here. I don't want it to be too, too yuck. Let's see, that's 14. Let's see if we can get it down. You put it about there. We've got 16 inches. It could be 14, 16, or 18. Okay, so we'll put $18 on that one. These two are probably going to be the highest priced. And this one is fabulous. It has 
the coin on the tip. It's just cute. It's not a real coin. She goes there, um, kind of the satin finished silver tone. Um, yeah. These, this Rolo chain here is fabulous. Look at these. And that is gorgeous. I'm going to put it right here. Yeah, it's very similar to this one that I showed you a minute ago, except it doesn't have these bezel set little gold citrine colored stones. Um, I'm going to put 18 on this one also. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it's gold and silver. Um, the gold is through here. It's just very interesting. Very, very pretty. Quite a shock to get these in a, you know, in a lot back in the day. I used to get some really, really good jewelry back in the day. <laughs> Not so much now. But that's okay. Okay, Chico's, of course. This has a beautiful piece of metal here. This is just beautiful. Um, it's very soft, very soothing, calming instead of scratchy and irritating. The end caps on here are great. This has quite an extender. These are just black beads. And they are light plastic with little silver kind of a spacer bead. This is approximately 19 inches. You could go a little shorter or a little longer. And let's put eight on this one. This is great. This is everyday, very nice piece. Very pretty. Very, very nice. Very nice. Okay, put that over there. Okay, we have an older Chico's that I think is just too cool. This is kind of a, a pastel, um, kind of a copper color. And the Chico's brand, you have the copper color there. You have the um, kind of curled metal beads here to kind of give it a little bit of um, character. Then you have the beautiful light pink color, which almost looks like coral, could very well be. Um, these pieces here, I don't believe, I don't know, these are cold. That's wild. Okay, so I think we have stones here and here. I don't know. They just feel cold. They might be plastic, but it's awfully warm in here for plastic to be hot. This is a beautiful pendant. Look at the colors. Then you have kind of like the ivy going through it. You have the Chico's on the back. You have, of course, the Chico's up at the top. I just think it's a spectacular piece. I think it's very, very nice. Isn't it pretty? Kind of peaches and greens and orange. Very fall. Very nice. Let's put eight on this one. Okay, let's see here. Oh, this is an older Chico's. This is so cute. Okay, I got the Chico's here. Got the nice lobster. It's kind of a gunmetal silver tone. Oh, we're back there. Sorry. Yes, I've seen this piece before. This piece was very popular at one time. So what you have here is um, just plastic beads that are pearls, then we have the uh, blue jean material here, silver tone beads that go down. Then you have these cute little, little spikies here. You have silver and then a black color for, yeah, silver, black, silver, and then black. And there's a black and a black. And then these are a plastic acrylic bead through here. Very nice. So this is a longer piece. This is probably 22 inches up to about 24 with that there. It does have an extender. Um, I just think it's cool. So I'll put 10 on this one. I'll show you the pieces. Isn't that neat? I had one like this and it was all beat up and tore up and it was ugly. And I think I took it apart 
and use some of the beads or something, but I remember it, but it was just in horrible condition. And I was like, that would be so cool if it was in great condition, and I got one that was in great condition. So that was very interesting. This piece screams the 70s and 80s. This is beautiful. It's a hammered piece with light leather. It could be pleather. She goes, oh, cool. don't fall. It's my Monet star, starfish or whatever it's called. Yes, and we have a good gold tone going on here. Large clasp. Beautiful hammered piece. Isn't that neat? Yeah, this brings back memories. This is so cool. This is actually right at 15 inches, and it could be a little bit longer. Um, I'll show you the extender on there. So it could be 16. It doesn't necessarily have to be right up around your neck. It could be down a little bit farther. This just needs to be wiped down. This is gorgeous. And I will put eight on this one. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, that's a gorgeous gold tone. It's in excellent shape for the age. I think these are, you know, just a bit older. Okay, this chain is, you know, this is fabulous. This is the one that has the um, rope chains on it. This one is stuck. Hold on here. There we go. How did that happen? That was weird. Okay. Okay. Let's get it straightened out. There we go. I think these have been put up for a while. Goodness. Okay. Chico's. Beautiful silver tone, shiny, long extender with the little bead, end caps that are soft. None of these metal pieces are rough. Then you come down, you have the rope, the shiny rope. Then you have this um, kind of weave chain here, and this is like a... Um, antique piece it's it is so cool because it is hammered and it is beautiful i love this piece i don't even want to sell it really now that i see it again okay if this doesn't sell i'll keep it um this is one of the ones you're gonna have to you pull this up and then, there we go. Because it's kind of like, yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to put 12 on this one. Not so nobody will buy it. But look at the shine on these chains. Wow. I'm going to put it right here so you can see the beauty. Isn't that lovely? That's great. The length on this one is pretty nice. It is approximately 20. No, it's not. It's about 18. Could be about 19. Could be 20. Look how long that is. So, just gorgeous, just gorgeous. Next, yeah, I, I think I'm going to get through these. Next, we have another Chico set. It's real pretty. Chico's brand there. We have the um, cording. It's real soft. And it has these, um, all these pieces are knotted. This is glass. That is metal. Um, I think these are like a plastic. They feel plastic. And then we have, oh, that's neat. Looks like a little acorn. It's more glass, another metal. Glass and plastic, I do believe. Ooh, those are nice. Look at those big metal pieces. Some more glass, and then it goes back up on this side. Yeah, it's really, really pretty. So it is approximately there's 22 and 24. 
So this is in great shape. Looks brand new. So let's put eight on this one. Just beautiful. Okay. Oh man. Chicos. Okay. We have this Asian inspired. Almost looks like cloisonne to a point. It is beautiful. It is red and black on this black cord. I could almost swear, swear, swear it's leather. I can't even talk, but I'm not going to swear to it. It's not nice to swear. And there's Chico's. It is super long. It is 24. 32 inches, and of course, it is gorgeous. So, and it's older, it's an older piece. Um, I think we will put 10 on this one, which is beautiful. This is one of my favorites, guys. Oh my gosh, this is fabulous. It has a Chico's tag, and then it has this little circular piece at the end of the extender. Um, there's Chico's. It is on a beautiful snake chain. Um, hold on here. Let me flip that down a little bit. Give me two seconds here. I don't know how that happened. Well, I might just have to keep this one. Darn it. <laughs> yeah, that's loose. I'm going to have to glue it. Anyway, I have to keep it. Okay. I'll show you why in just a second. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to wear this. This is um, coming up. So what does that mean? That means that Monique's Jewels gets to keep it. I need to put some glue and stick it down. Okay? So I'm not trying to be funny. And no, I can't take the pendant off and sell it. No, 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 no. No. It has to stay. Isn't that gorgeous? Man, I love this piece. Anyway, I'll put it over there. Terrible, terrible. Not. Okay, this is another beautiful piece. The Silver Town is fabulous. The extender is gorgeous. We have a light, creamy, I mean clear yellow. It's just barely enough yellow to see it. The silver tone is like a, you've got almost like a little snake chain and then a popcorn chain that comes down through here. And then you go to the next one and the next one and the next one and then up to the top. So you have a circle and a triangle and then two kind of circles and then they're kind of dichroic, but yeah. They're, they're great. Wow. And you've got this beautiful piece at the end. So we have Fasting. We have Shine. We have Silver Tone. We have a beautiful piece. It is long. It's about 32 inches. You could actually make it longer. With this beautiful piece there. And I think I'll put 10 on this one. Whoa, come back, come back. These are all well made, very well made. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, that's gorgeous. Okay, we're almost done. Here we have another gorgeous, long, long, long. Very good for the fall. The first one is right at 24. Then we have about a 28 and like a 30. I will show you how these work. This is beautiful. Look at the colors. Whoever made this was just fabulous. We have kind of a frosted gold tone. 
Yutiko's tag, excellent condition. We go down with seed beads, coming down to bigger beads that are wooden, brown beads, a little bit of plastic here, um, some more kind of um, frosted gold tone wood. And then we have some of what looks like orange colored. It looks like almost like halide, but it's not. It's plastic, I do believe. So this is a light piece. This little teardrop here is gorgeous. We've got the deeper yellow, I mean deeper orange and the lighter orange with this. Almost looks like a gemstone. It's not. I do not believe. It sounds like glass, but I think it's very hard resin. Could be wrong, but this thing is gorgeous. It is fall. It is beautiful. And I'm going to put tin on it. And look at the bottom. It's got the little frillies. Kind of a southwestern look. Okay. These two are older pieces. They do have a tiny bit of wear. Let me show you. Um, you have this one here. It's a little lighter brownish. It's almost a black, but it's more of a brown. It's kind of a brassy tone. Um, very nice clasp up here with the Chico's tag. Then we have this one here. This is um, kind of a beautiful little brushed silver that has a little bit of wear. And um, got the Chico's on the back. And these are $4 a piece. This one is, let's see how long they are. This one is 18 and a half. Well, this is six, 17. That's 17, and so is this one. They're both about the same length. All right. They're very cute. I'll show you the front of them. There's nothing wrong with them. They're just a little older. They've been around a little longer. Um, let's see if I can find the tip of this one. Um, oh, here it is. This is um, multi-strand, very pretty. She goes with the um, gunmetal, and it comes down, and you have all these beautiful layers. Um, we have the little um, silver beads there, almost a rosary style. Then we have some different chains gunmetal then we have this chain here that kind of hangs off that's neat then we have another chain and another chain there is the tag so let's see if i can get it up like this and it's really really pretty guys isn't that amazing um, it is 18 inches, and then with all these beautiful, and like I said, I'm just going to have to twist it because they have gotten twisted. So you twist it the other way. There we go. So the actual beads, the silver beads are the longest. Yeah, this is really cool. Very, very pretty. So let's put, hmm, let's put eight on this one. Very nice. Okay, we're just about there. This is an interesting piece. This has wood and kind of a frosted, the gold tone. You have some glass teal colored, really deep teal beads here. Um, you've got a beautiful glass piece here. Look at that. Then you have wood. No, no, no. These aren't wood. These are plastic. Kind of uh, an, a deep amber color. Then we have this glass bead. Then we have wood. Then we have this bead that is frosted, painted, um, gold. Then we have these glass beads here. And this beautiful, it's just a metal bead. Look at this. I do not know what this is. It is gorgeous. No, I don't think it's a, a stone, but it's gorgeous. 
Then we have that little plastic bead, and then these again, the wonderful gold tone. Yeah, this thing is beautiful. So it is kind of, this is asymmetrical too. It's really cool. I love this bead, especially. So we have a dark blue, we have tan, we have a deep teal. This has a green and a turquoise and the gold. This is fall and winter all in one necklace. Beautiful in that. I think I'm gonna put 12 on this one. I really like it. I hope you just like it. Okay, we have one left. We've done, nope, there's, is that one? I think there's two here. Yes, there is two. This is a very classic style here that we see, but this is beautiful. This is a beautiful silver tone, beautiful tag. This is all like perfect. This has a very uh, flexible snake, um, just in pristine condition. The snake, the extender is super long. Then we have these beautiful disco, disco ball. Yeah, this is spectacular. I like it. This looks like, ooh, these are pretty. You've got a bigger rhinestone here than you do on the outside of these big ones. Um, this looks like New Year's Eve. Love it. What do you think? Isn't that pretty? Wow. I like it. So I'm going to put 12 on this one. It's gorgeous. It just looks like it just came out of the store. That's why I like these pieces so well. This one is also very, very cute. I like them because they have different elements in them. Different, you know, textures and colors and... Um, you go from glass back to resin or acrylic to plastic to leather to chains. It, I just love it. Chico's with the beautiful snake here. Just gorgeous and fabulous shape. And we'll just go down through these. You have what I do believe are halite. They're cool, but I'm not sure. I don't know. They could be faux. Um, we have these beautiful silver beads here with the little dots going around the center. Look almost like a UFO. Then we have some glass faceted beads, some tubing. These beads are beautiful. Then we have these crystal beads, and they are all in one. Yeah, they're all intact. We have white beads. We have a plastic bead here. Oh, look at that. Then we have a glass bead another glass bead um, yes this is fabulous uh, another glass bead with a rondelle that is plastic or glass I can't quite tell um, this is cold but I think it's plastic I think it's trying to mimic how light the white or white buffalo turquoise whatever Dream on, ladies. But no, and then that, I do believe, is plastic. You have the beautiful little stations here, these little plastic pieces here. And that is the end piece from this for the center. And this thing is beautiful. I don't know. I like it. Isn't that beautiful? I'll do this. Show you how pretty it is. Isn't that nice? Shiny. Anyway, yeah, this is gorgeous. It is approximately okay. Okay, so it would be thirty. 34 inches, 36, 
38, 40. It's about 40 inches, I would say. It's a long one. Oh, yeah, that'd be gorgeous. It hangs all the way down to the table. Yeah, this is fabulous. And then, of course, you could always double it. That'd be very interesting. You could hook it over here. No, let me hush. Okay, so this is the last necklace of my Chico's lot. And I'm going to get off here and get it uploaded. Um, if anybody's interested in what I'm going to do tomorrow, I think I'll, I'll do some vintage. I'll try it again tomorrow and see what happens. Um, and then, of course, it'll be time to invoice and we'll start over again. And we'll do some sterling and stuff probably closer to the weekend. So let me know if you guys are thinking that, um, you know, everything's okay as far as what I'm using for content on my videos. If you don't think I should do as much vintage, let me know. I don't care if you put it in the comments below. Um, some of the things that I'm showing as vintage might not be um, 20 years old. They might be 18 years old. I don't know. But anything vintage to me is, you know, 2000 and under. So, or 2001 and under. So I'm trying my best to make sure I'm putting vintage pieces. Um, so we'll see how it goes here for the rest of the week. Um, I can always mix it up just like I'm doing now. And, um, but I just, I don't see myself getting a big, huge box of jewelry and just going through it unless I know what's in it or unless I get a really good price. So I'll be looking for that. Sometimes right before I know Shop Goodwill is getting ready to, you know, stop an auction for the night, I go in there and look. And if there's a piece, if there's a five pound lot or something that's under 30 bucks, I'll maybe try to get it. But you've got to remember if you get something for, tw like if you get something for five dollars, five ninety nine, you're going to pay three or four dollars handling, and then you're going to pay probably close to ten dollars shipping, even when it's only four pieces that are about that big. About that big. And I'm thinking, what in the heck is, what, are you putting rocks in it? How can, you forget I ship every week. I know how much stuff costs, and it just really bugs me. But that's my rant for the night. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. I'll have to get off of here and um, go check on the baby, see how he's doing. Maybe we can do a video with him tomorrow. We'll see how he's doing. He's got four teeth that came in on the top at once. I'm talking about he has four teeth on the top. He has two teeth at the bottom. He is not, he just turned eight months old. I am just shocked. So he is a, he is trying to bite everything. Yes. So we'll see if he's feeling up to it and maybe he can come and say hello. All right, you guys. Don't forget to purchase, email me. Thanks so much. Don't forget a uh, timestamp. Uh, screenshots are wonderful, but timestamps save me so much time. It really helps me out. You guys stay blessed and stay well, and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks so much, guys.